Hey, give it up for your host, y'all. Don't give it up for the handshake. Give it up for her as a person. There we go. Just because I'm light-skinned, they give me that walk-up song. Fucking come on. Come be some slack, y'all. I'm glad there's a bunch of weed smokers in here. Uh, I used to be amongst you. I used to smoke weed. I quit last year, and uh, now I'm letting the anxiety do what it's going to do. <laughs> Let that dog off leash. I used to, it, I was bad. I was fiending for that shit. I used to smoke weed before work. Smoking weed before work does not work. Smoking weed before work only works if your job is wearing the rat costume at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> You cannot do a speaking role. Like she said, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I remember when Obama won, Atlanta went crazy. Atlanta went insane. Every street corner had a dude selling these airbrush design Obama t-shirts. And some of the shirts were being made by first timers. Cause some of them look good. And then some of them were congratulating President Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> I was like, yo, Tiger Woods is not that accomplished. Who the fuck is on this t-shirt? Are we allowed to curse on this show? I don't know. I didn't read the email, so this may be my last time at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. They started putting any lights. I saw one with me on it. I was like, what the fuck? See, my whole thing is like, I feel like that effect was like when Kobe died in LA, because that was so hard. Because Kobe Bryant inspired so many people in LA including the people that cannot draw. I walk downtown, I'm like, why are we remembering Don Cheadle? And my cousin Darius on a fucking, I was like, well, what happened to him? Why is there a dove next to his face? What happened to little Darius? You ever realize you were a pussy compared to your dad? <laughs> I realized I was a pussy compared to my dad. My dad, when he was my age, was working 12 hours a day building houses. I can't fall asleep if the ASMR is too loud. I'm, like, I'm not getting any tingles from this YouTube video. I'm out of here. Fuck this. If, I, if you say fuck once, I mean, you might as well say it again, right? They can't ban me twice. They can only ban me once. <laughs> this man, this man when his, uh, was in his late 20s, <clears throat> building houses in 90 degree heat, doing manual labor 80 hours a week. I'm in my eight, late 20s, and I won't eat the brown part on the banana. <laughs> I'm like, Ew, not the string. <laughs> I feel like life was harder in the 70s, but the insults were softer. Like my dad, he'll be trying to, cause he looked just like me. He'd be trying to relate to me. He'd be like, son, it's okay. You know, I was light skinned too. They called me Casper. I'm like, dad, they called me Martin Luther Cream. <laughs> I'm like the insults were nothing, but you could start a fight over Buster Brown in the 70s. I'm like, dude, insults now are crazy. Like, they call me Talcum X. <laughs> Yo, that's a far cry from Jive Turkey. Would you agree? <laughs> the insults were crazy. <laughs> Laugh at my pain, please. I See, this is what I hate so much. I hate it when I tell people I used to get bullied and they don't believe me. Like, I tell people, and they'll be like, well, you got bullied? I'm like, okay, I didn't have this authoritative voice in fifth grade. <laughs> if I had this voice in fifth grade, I wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen me in the school. I would have been outside on the sidewalk, like, trading stocks and buying liquor. <laughs> I'm on that corner shooting dice like a grown man. Fuck you, principal. <laughs> That's right, third time's the charm. All right, I'm Jonathan Hollis. Thank you so much.